Hi dear students, in part 1 I introduced letter writing to you. I also wrote a formal letter for you there so that you could learn, so that you could know the format, so that you could learn the style of writing, so that you could, know, you could learn where to use punctuation marks in that letter. And I hope that you practiced writing some formal letters after that. Here um, today I would like to, I would like to write, a, write an informal letter for you so, so that you can learn the informal format too. There isn't much difference between the formats, but there is a lot of difference between the styles. So I would I would write a letter to my friend, telling him telling him about the about the book I recently finished reading. I repeat myself. In this informal letter, I would write to I would um, I'm gonna write to my friend about the book that I recently finished reading. Okay. So I begin like this. I write my address first in the left hand corner. Three oblique two. Basant Vihar, Kota. Then I put the date here, 22 July 2011. Here I address my friend. See, I, I left a line here, I am leaving a line here, and then I address my friend. Dear Rahul, you don't put any comma here, and then I begin like this. Dear Rahul, and then leave a line, start the start the paragraph here not there here I'm glad to receive your letter um, sorry and um, then I write thank you so much for giving me new insights into the works of Shakespeare thank you so much for giving me new insights into the works of Shakespeare. Then I write, and then I change the paragraph. Now I write about the novel I recently finished reading. I would like to tell you about the novel that I recently finished reading. I would like to tell you about the novel that I recently finished reading it is it is the famous emma by jane austen so i'm writing to my friend about the famous novel emma written by jane austen it is a classic celebrated for its depth of observation it is a classic celebrated for its depth of observation. It is a feminist work that probes the depths of women characters. It is a feminist work that probes the hearts of women characters. It is said to be Jane Austen's magnum opus and an, it is said to be Jane Austen's magnum opus and deserves to be deserves to be read and appreciated by all I would advise you also to read it I would advise you also to read it. Now because this is an informal letter, I'll talk about my friend's family also. I can I can convey my regards to his parents, I can convey my love to his younger brother. So I write here um, convey my love to Shanu and my regards to your parents. I look forward to hearing from you. That's it. Now I write my write um, your sincerely, your sincerely, and then my name. Now I would like to read it for you again, and I'll, t I'll be telling you the word meanings, and I'll be pointing out some important things to you. So I write address in the 
left hand corner i do not put any comma any full stop after the address then i leave a line and uh, then i put the date then i leave a line again then i write i address my friend dear rahul and then i leave a line again and i do not start the sentence i do not start the paragraph here but i start it here okay and then i read it for you i'm glad to receive your letter thank you so much for giving me new insights into the works of shakespeare so my friend wrote to me last time and he told me about shakespeare so i got to know more about the uh, about the dramas of shakespeare so i'm thanking him here and then i go ahead i would like to tell you about the novel that i recently finished reading it is the famous emma by jane austen so i read a novel by jane austen and i'm writing about that it is a classical novel or it is a classic celebrated means famous celebrated means famous for its depth of observation it is a feminist work that probes the hearts of women characters that probes means that it scrutinizes it examines probe means scrutinize or examine closely the hearts of women characters it is said to be jane austen's magnum opus magnum opus opus means a masterpiece it is said to be jane austen uh, jane austen's masterpiece and deserves to be read and appreciated by all i would advise you also to read it so i am advising my friend to read it then i write convey my love to shan and my regards to your parents then i leave a line again i look forward to hearing from you then i leave a line here and then i write yours sincerely sincerely in small letters there's no apostrophe in yours there's no comma after or sincerely okay and then i write my name and that's it that's how i finish it so follow all the follow the format um strictly or you'd be marked down now you can write your own letters practice writing because practice alone can make you perfect okay thank you very much